Hello, I'm Josh with Firesoft, and I'm here to tell you about what you need to know about managing Windows 10 when it comes to Windows as a Service. Windows as a Service, or WAS for short, is what we call the new cycle of keeping your Windows OS up to date. Traditionally, every few years, Microsoft has released a new version of Windows that companies could upgrade to as the need arose. This is a process we're all familiar with. However, now that we're on Windows 10, things have changed a bit. Instead of a new OS every few years, Microsoft is releasing major feature upgrades to the current OS. These feature upgrades are often big updates technology-wise, but we're still on the same OS, just increasing the build number. Each of the feature upgrades is supported for 18 to 30 months, depending on your situation, and with new upgrades coming every six months, you'll want to keep on top of this. Why do we care about feature upgrades? Why not just stay on a build that works for you? The number one reason is security. Attackers take advantage of peers between releases. The longer an OS is available to the public, the more opportunity for security risks to be discovered and exploited. Now that Windows is a service and on a more scheduled update cycle, there's a much shorter period between releases to reduce the likelihood of known vulnerabilities affecting your environment. In addition, these feature upgrades often provide new Windows technologies that improve security and the changes are often seamless and invisible to the user. At the time of this video, Windows Defender added Application Exploit Guard to help provide against ransomware, among other threats. Now let's talk about patching. Previously, patches were released individually and installed selectively for each version of Windows. This unfortunately led to not all patches being installed to all machines, leading to devices being at different patch levels, resulting in differences in expected behavior and increased effort in troubleshooting. Now, instead of updates released to patch specific issues, we have cumulative updates for each feature upgrade that encompasses all previous patches up to a point in time to bring all devices to the exact same level. This gives us a much more predictable and stable environment to work with, while reducing the chance of missing an important update that could cripple a network. So you may ask, how do I deploy these WAS releases? Well, here are some of the tools Microsoft has provided to manage Windows as a Service. We have Windows Update and Windows Update for Business. Uh, these are coming straight from Microsoft, and group policy settings in your environment allow you to schedule or postpone feature upgrades. There's Windows Server Update Services, or WSUS. Uh, that's a locally hosted update service for Windows where updates can be manually approved and scheduled. My personal favorite is Configuration Manager, uh, a full device management platform, part of the System Center suite, which has a component just for Windows servicing. And finally, Intune, where you can schedule or postpone feature upgrades on managed devices. Now that you know what WAS, Windows as a Service, is and why you need it, it's time to start thinking about the whole process of updating your environment when a feature upgrade rolls out. There are several tools to manage the actual pushing of the content, but nothing to manage the timing, communication, and readiness of your environment for the next feature upgrade. More on that in upcoming videos on this channel. With that, this is Josh from Firesoft saying thanks for watching.